who had seen Philip Harvin many times on the TV screen. He looks rather weird with that funny wee beard, the one who makes all that's a mean. Well, if you know him, you can't fail to know me. We're the two best known cooks in the BBC. I'm Aggie who feeds the lions, and I don't mean the ones in the zoo. Though their name is the same, the radio fame is very well known to you. They're a nice little family party, and they find that my cooking's a boon. I've been with them for years, and they're ever such dears to Aggie from Glasgow too. Master Richard is always hungry. He pops in the kitchen to me and says, Aggie, do bake a really big cake. Then he eats a whole one for his tea. Miss Barbara, well, she just eats now and then. The lassie must study her figure, you can. I'm Aggie who feeds the lions. I study their taste, you see. Mr. Lion was born with a liking for corn. It's a very odd taste to me. On Barnes night, I make them a haggis. I notice it always comes doom to the kitchen and tag, but I eat it in fact. <laughs> I'm Aggie of Glasgow too. They think that my accent is foreign, but theirs is quite foreign to me. But we just seem to say the same things in a way, for Aggie is only RG. Though we're different in language and different in dress, it's the way that I cook is my biggest success. I'm Aggie who feeds the lions, and believe me, they're very well fed. I don't have to look in a cookery book, I do it all out of my head. There's a soup that they call clam chowder, when I make it, they drink it all doon. It's scotch broth all the same, I just change the name. Look, I'm Aggie of Glasgow too. I'm Aggie who feeds the lions, look, it's just second nature to me. Never would shirk from doing my best, you see. And you couldn't find nicer people if you went from Penzance to the noon. So I'm not going to try. I'll stay with them for all.